Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here. And we are doing our March Madness. <laughs> that is, we're covering the uh, Everything Must Go March sale. You know, like we did uh, back February 1st. Uh, this is the monthly flyer that Harbor Freight puts out. Now remember, your copy is most likely different from mine. This is the digital copy. I found that there is at least one, if not two other copies that float around. So I'm going to try and compare these against my uh, little database over here. That is the Harbor Freight coupon database to see if uh, these are, in fact, the lowest prices around. <laughs> Anyway, just also let you guys know, I'm not affiliated with him. I'm just a fan of what he does. You know, I don't make any money off of it. And, uh, but I, it, I think it's the best database for coupons out there. So anyway, let's jump into it. This is the ad for March. And there's one specific item that I'm really excited about, but we'll, we'll get to that one. All right. First on the list, we've got the 30 inch four drawer tech cart. One less than the five drawer for only $160. That seems ridiculous ridiculous that's that's a sale you know i was at lowe's with the uh with the big bear here uh well, i guess the big little bear today and there man there was i don't think there was a thing on sale in sears or sears lowe's uh, we we're i see sears lowe's anyway we we're at lowe's i don't think there was a single thing on sale i mean it i don't know bear was anything did you see anything on sale no, no there, there was nothing on sale all right, so anyway, let's talk about this uh, this tech cart. Yeah, <laughs> sale price one fifty nine. There's a coupon out right now that makes this eighty four dollars, eighty five dollars, eighty four ninety nine. That's a heck of a steal. All right, next on the list, uh, ratcheting tie down uh, tie strips. Uh, these are only good as backup strips. I you know don't use them as your primary load uh, or load carrier. Rapid Pump 3-Ton Steel Heavy-Duty Low-Profile Floor Jack. Hey, I have this one. This exact one right here. Man, I love it. It has no problem lifting my, uh, what do we got, Ram 1500 Quad Cab. It, it can lift it, you know, and boy, I'm almost afraid to use it on my wife's Jeep. It'll put it through the, uh, through the roof of the garage. No, nah, I'm a kid, but yeah, these things are, are amazing. Now, that price, though, uh, there's another coupon out right now that puts that at $80, so... That's, uh, again, not the best price out there. Uh, the 12-inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw for $189. Is that, is that even a sale? That's not a sale price. That's a, I've never even seen it at that price. There's a coupon out right now that puts that at $130. So anyway, next on the list, let's go down here. We've got the 2,000-watt super quiet inverter generator. Uh, let's see if there's a coupon on that. Best price on that right now is $429.99. Uh, that's a great man. They just I, I whenever I go to a campsite or something, it's like everybody has us. Like they sell them at the gate. I don't I don't understand. All right, and yeah, I gotta skip stuff for time, guys. If if I don't skip items, this is gonna be a two hour long video. The Fortress uh, air compressor. This is the two gallon, not the one gallon. I got the one gallon in my shop. Oh man, I, I love that thing. It is so well made. I know. When they came out, I looked at them. I'm like, ah, oh, they just look like a California air knockoff. You know, how good can they really be? Uh, they really can be that good. They, they really can. Uh, I would say the build quality is a solid step above what I've seen from Cal Air. Uh, the, the fit and finish on it's amazing. The quiet, I mean, these things are whisper quiet. It's insane how quiet these things are. And they put up a good lot of, a good amount of air. And wow, that tank fills in like, what is it, 30 seconds or something? Anyway, I got a video covering all these air compressors coming up here shortly. So stay tuned for that. Da, 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 the Warrior 26-piece titanium drill bit set. Um, I thought we'd normally see those for around less than, well, t around $10 or something like that. Yeah, $10. There's a coupon right now for $10 on that. Uh, da, 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 let's go on to page number two. Do a. Come on. Do it. We got knee pads for four bucks. Uh, large elastic stretch cords. Oh, I hate those stretch cords, man. Let's get the rubber ones. Titanium high speed drill bit. Uh, those things are great. You should have one of those. 32 piece magnetic driver guide kit. Um, I've not seen that, to be honest. Is this a new item? It's in Bearcules Blue, but I don't see any Bearcules name on it. No, it's, it's a warrior kit. That's a nice little. I like that little pop-up kit and stuff. That's cute. I'll have to try get one of those and try it. 
quiet. What is what is with you? You know I'm doing a video, and you just you always have to stick your little snout in it, don't you? He he's like he's like starved for attention. Anyway, what else we got here? We got the uh, uh, the solid rubber wheel chalk. Somebody asked if those are any good. It's rubber. It's a wheel chalk. It's it's great. I use these all the time. I use them on my trailer. I've used them on my RV. They're probably a little undersized for most RVs, but uh, you know, as a secondary or third one, it, it works just fine. Uh, so we got all the Predator uh, generators. Now, they, man, they've got they're killing it with these generators. These things are are excellent quality. I'm not going to check the price on all of them. Sorry, guys, but. The, if you are looking to get a generator, I don't know why you'd get anything other than a Predator these days. Uh, unless there's a hell of a deal on a Honda. And it, 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 it better be a heck of a deal. Um, let's see. We got the motors, horizontal shift. Hey, if you guys haven't seen it, do, do a Google search for a uh, Harbor Freight engine swap. <laughs> Trust me. You'll thank the bear. Uh, we got the, what else? We got the new gas powered pressure washer. Uh, gas auger with six bit. I, I've heard good things about that, man. I, I don't think I've heard bad things about anything with the predator name on it. They're just killing it. It's insane. All right. Uh, we got the plate compactor. Oh, wow. They've got the gas powered sawmill and the towable backhoe. I, it looks like they're getting ready for spring here, man. I wonder if I can get them to send me that towable backhoe for a, a demo. I got to dig some more trenches up at our place in Montana. I could really use that this summer. No, uh, if not, I'll be renting something from uh, Bobcat. Anyway, uh, central machinery. We got the bench top eight inch uh, drill press, sixty four dollars. Now hold on, let me check on that because that's usually there's usually a sale on that one for a bit cheaper, and sale price is fifty four ninety nine. There's a coupon again, Harbor Freight coupon database. Want well, to check it out? That's hfqpdb.com. Sorry, I, I was. My dyslexia kicking in. I've got dist dyslexia. I don't know. It's me. My dyslexia is backwards. Wow, the seven by ten inch precision bench top lathe. I have I been missing that? I just haven't seen them been advertising this stuff lately. Are they gonna put the mini mills in here also? We got the bench grinder, the horizontal cutting saw. Man, I'd love to have one of those. Okay, moving on. Oh, we got welders. Welders, welders, welders. We got green and orange any black ones in here any black? i don't know we'll, we'll see we got titanium beats hobart mig welder for 500 dollars. guys the so if you don't know the the chicago electric oh and there are some chicago electric on here they're the cheap entry uh welders guys will give them crap all day long oh they're junk blah 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 everyone i know who has one who's actually used it and, th and here's the thing the people dissing them are usually people who've never used one or people who consider themselves pro welders and they're, they're tool snobs. And <laughs> yeah, I find most tool snobs are the actual tool in the toolbox there. Anyway, the, the titanium, that's definitely the prosumer line. That's, that's the, I want something better than the basic model you get in the black box, but I don't want to spend the money that you're going to see on a Vulcan. And I, I can't blame you. I mean, that, that Vulcan there is $750, which to be fair, is a screaming deal for what that thing does. You, if you were to buy a Hobart or a Lincoln, you you would be spending so much more money, you have no idea. But that said, it, the real difference here is not, not runtime. I can't think of the word. The, the word escapes the bear right now. Duty cycle. That's it, duty cycle. Which basically means how long you can run it before you have to give it a break. And the cheap stuff you can run for like five or ten minutes before you have to give it like a half hour or more break. Uh, and the really good stuff you can run almost consistently, you know, con consistently, <laughs> constantly, constantly. And uh, the green stuff is going to be on the lower spectrum. It's going to be mo more than the Chicago Electric, but it's not going to be as much as the Vulcan. But if you're a hobbyist or you do a lot of welding, but you're not doing it like for money, that and that's where the, the titanium comes in. You got some money. You want to do a bunch of welding. You want it to be you want it to come out good and clean that that's where you want to go with the titanium uh you you know i guess you could do some light duty professional welding like job you know specific kind of stuff fixing someone's fence that kind of stuff 
uh, you know, that that's that's the kind of thing you'd you'd want to use that for. Uh, anything for a more serious shop, you'd want a, a Vulcan or an up. Uh, so let's see here. The welding helmets, man, their welding helmets have gotten so much better. I mean, they, they weren't bad to begin with, but we got the Vulcan Arc Safe for 150 We got the Chicago Electric Fixed Shade with nice big viewing glass there for 30 bucks. I mean, come on. Oh, and the Vulcan Professional Welding Torch Guns. 150 amp TIG torch, 180 amp MIG torch, um, or MIG gun, sorry. And also there is a, I'm not sure if it applies to the to the guns and, and torches, but it does apply to all the little bits and stuff. There's a coupon out there for, I think it's 10% off all of the Vulcan accessories. So be sure to look for that. Uh, let's see what we get down here in the yellow. We got button cell batteries, professional welding gloves, door the da, da, da. that four pound hickory engineer's hammer. I love that thing. <laughs> that, you, you could put a whopping on something. That's just the right size. Not you know for a for a small you know I don't don't think of it as a sledge. Think of it as an encouraging device. And uh, you know when when something is trying to you know mouth back at it, you're like okay I'm I'm done arguing with you. And there's that Chicago Electric stuff we were talking about before. The 125 amp flux core welder, the 170 amp MIG flux, the 165 amp uh, arc TIG, and the 240 volt inverter plasma cutter. Yeah, I heard that there is a plasma, you know, other plasma cutters coming out. At least one. I believe it's going to be in titanium. Uh, we'll have to see. I can't imagine them coming out with a titanium plasma cutter and not coming out with a Vulcan also. Just just wouldn't make sense. Hey, let me remind everyone, we got coming up for you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the meeting of the Las Vegas uh, Tool Council. That is to say, it's going to be me and Steve uh, from Explorer Steve DIY. Don't have any word if Cosmo is going to be there as well. Uh, if you have not checked out his channel, uh, please do. He's got a great channel. He's a he's a just an all around great guy, and he's gonna swing by the shop, and we're gonna just sit around and we're going to just kind of chat about tools. Uh, mostly, we're just gonna sit there and kind of do a stream of consciousness conversation about the state of affairs of Harbor Freight and their new uh, their new business model, uh, stepping up to the uh, prosumer and the pro level tools. Anyway, back to our ad. So I get a, quest, a lot of questions about this one, and that is the flux core. I, I see people asking here and on other forums and stuff all the time, is this any good? And inevitably, 100 people will chime in with, no, you need to get a Lincoln. You need to get, they need to get bear smacked, just right upside the little noggin. The, these people, there's just this group of people who just like to say, well, if it's not the best, absolutely best tool out there, it just doesn't make any sense. I had people in the uh, the the video I did the other day comparing the two job site saws. These are three hundred and and you know three to four hundred dollar saws, right? Going well, I think that you know you should have compared it against this saw. It's the latest one, so you should compare it against that. It's a six hundred dollar job site saw from you know from uh, from Dewalt. That's that's just ridiculous. It's you get the fanboys all the time. They they're like, well. Your Harbor Freight tool beat my favorite brand, so you should have actually compared it to the the more expensive version because that would be a fair comparison. In what world is that fair? It, it's it isn't like a you know two sixth graders going at it and one of them losing a, a fight on the playground, getting up and going, "Well, I'm going to get my bigger brother and he's going to kick your butt." It's not a fair fight. You know, there's a reason in boxing they have weight classes. It's not just so they can sell more tickets. All right, I mean, that might be part of it, but no, I, I kid. It's it's because, you know, if anybody watched the UFC, they start off with no weight classes, and we saw how that ended up. So when you got a $100 tool, you know, it has you know a certain level of tech in it, you compare it against somebody else's $100 tool. Just because that tool loses doesn't mean you, you have a snit fit and you cry about it and go, well, you should have used the $300 tool because that would have made me feel better and validate my purchase. I'm not here to validate your purchase, all right? Let's be real for a minute, can we? If you need an animated bear to make you feel better about you overspending, maybe you should be rethinking your lifestyle. Anyway... So the point of the matter is, for the guy who's going to buy a hundred dollar welder, and that's let's that's by the way what the coupon on this is, it's a hundred dollars. 
this is somebody who wants to just dip their toes in welding and figure out what it's all about, have a little fun. I mean, this is little more than a, uh, a welding version of a soldering iron, and it's perfect for what it does. I've seen people build wrought iron fences and gates and all sorts of stuff with it. You're not going to be, you know, welding inch thick steel, plate steel and all stuff and all that. Great. All right. We understand it. All right. It's it's for small jobs and for learning, you know, how this stuff works. And for that, it's just fine, especially considering that if you buy it on sale for 100 bucks there, you know, you can probably sell it for more than that because you must be because people on Craigslist are asking like, what, five hundred dollars for these things. That, that's a that's a Craigslist joke in case you missed it. Anyway, spend enough time here on the welding page. Let's move on to automotive. Third floor, automotive. Oh, uh, we got the Badland winches. Man, I, I really want to get one of those. I end up, you know, I end up moving a lot of really heavy kind of equipment and stuff. I want to put one, one of the smaller ones in the back of my pickup truck to help load. Anyway, the, uh, and then we got the Roadshock LED uh, lights. Hey, if anyone from the Roadshock team is, is watching, you know, I just did a video on some LED lights, uh, off-road lights. I'm going to do some more. It'd be great to throw the Harbor Freight ones in the mix if you want to send them, have me take take a look at them, you know. Hint, hint, hint. ODB2 code readers, man. So if you know, the bear has this one, the, the basic one. I don't do a lot with code readers. Uh, you know, basically, if my car's acting up, I'll throw a code reader on it. If it throws an, an error, of course... You know, if there's a warning light, I'll pop it up just to look, get the air, you know, half the time. Now, granted, a lot of the newer vehicles, like mine included, the most common, okay, the most common error code you're going to get, uh, check engine light, that is, is going to be for a gas cap. At least on my truck, it actually tells you now that the gas cap is not on properly. Thank goodness. So, but there are times, you know, I have also used it on other people's vehicles and stuff. Anyway, I've used it a lot. I like it. Uh, for $50, it's hard to beat. For you, those of you guys who are more serious... You know, the, they, they have everything you'd want, you know, moving up from there. The only caveat I have here is the Zurich Professional Automotive Scanner. You know what? I'm not even going to get into it. How about this? If you're considering it, go and watch some views on it first. My, what I've heard is that you should get the Autel. Don't, don't get the Snap-on. Good Lord, whatever you do, don't get the Snap-on. Uh, but uh, maybe consider the Autel. All right, we got the, we talked to voltmeters. Uh, there's that laser thermometer if you don't want the, the Milwaukee one. <laughs> hundred and some dollars. All right, let's move down. Non-voltage contact tester. That's great if you do any of that kind of stuff. Those, those things are nice to have. Uh, continuous peak power inverter. I you know what? I, I've said before, if you watch some of my old videos, that I was not a fan of electronic stuff. They have upgraded it. This is part of their new line. Uh and everyone I know who's used it swears by it. I've not used it. I don't have any experience with it. But I can tell you that I've talked to a bunch of people, a bunch of subscribers here. People have commented. And yeah, they they, they love it. And there's we can see there's the whole, there's the Jupiter line uh, all the way up to a, there's a 10,000 watt inverter. That, well, that's peak. Continuous is 5,000. That's a good amount of power for something like that for 400 bucks. The power packs. Yeah, I know. I owe you guys a review on the power packs. They're coming. They're coming. I promise. Da, 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 da. Digital inspection camera. You know, I'm sure that digital inspection camera works great. And if you're a if you're a pro, if you're going to be using it in a shop all the time, yeah, that's probably the one to get because it's going to be way cheaper than the Snap On or whatever. But if you're an amateur and you just need to do it every so often. I've got a review coming up. Uh, I think it's $20, and it comes with a 30-foot cable. Now, they've got shorter cables, but it, it connects via, I think, Wi-Fi. This one connects via Wi-Fi. Some do Bluetooth or something. Anyway, connects to your phone. And uh, anyway, the review's coming up. For the casual person, it's going to be a much better uh, choice. If you are from a shade tree mechanic on up where you, like, make some dollars on the side to you're an actual professional mechanic, Definitely get the dedicated scope. You're going to like that, but you don't want to be whipping out your phone, that kind of situation. You end up breaking your phone, having to pay $400 for a replacement phone rather than just having paid $75 for the scope. All right, moving on here. Let's see if there's anything else there. No. Next on our Cavalcade Custom. She's got the jack. Yeah. 
We got the three ton steel heavy duty low profile floor jack. I feel I feel like a case of deja vu. Like maybe we've talked about this before. So I was in the store the other day and they're out. If you see here, we got the uh, right here. We got the new Daytonas. We got them in orange, green, and black. They're in stores, at least in my local store. And uh, I, I I've heard other people say that they're in store also. So they're out there and you can get them. Hydraulic and transmission jacks. Hey, for those of you who, who don't, sometimes you don't think about it, but for some of those heavier duty kind of stuff, like I was thinking about getting one for my uh, RV. They have a, they, these bottle jacks can do things. These floor jacks could even think of doing. Tw was it 20 tons for $40? $40 for 20 ton jack. That, that's insane. And on top of it, they get the 20 ton air hydraulic bottle jack which by the way a lot of people do they get this down here let me scroll down a lot of people do the mod where they get this shop press down here where is it come on they get the shop press down here for 129 and they put that air bottle jack in it to make it you know self-powered or at least air powered so you don't have to sit there and pump it up by hand apparently that's a great little mod to do uh we got the gantry clank gantry crane for $750 I really want to get one of those it's not going to happen anytime soon but doesn't mean I don't want to get one next page home housewares we've got the swivel um, flat mounts uh, that Armstrong one for $16.99 that's a great little mount uh, those can get kind of pricey when you buy them at regular retail shops so we got the gun safes here let's stop and talk about that real quick all right these are not safes and usually what you'll hear when you hear someone say that is you hear some, you know, safe snob. They're like tool snobs. They'll be like, that's not a safe, man. That's technically a personal security cabinet or something like that. Whatever. Oh, there's a, it's like the guys are like, it's not a clip. It's a magazine. I had something the other day. It's not a, sh it's not a foot. It's a shoe. Oh, oh my gosh. The grammar police are in the house lately. Every store I've been to in the past couple months has had these union safes. On clearance up front near the cash register that's a big hint to me that there's a new level of you know home security device in the works probably should be in stores uh pretty soon not any insider knowledge here uh the uh, deep freight's been silent on this one in fact deep deep freight's been pretty quiet i've heard from him in a while uh i wonder if they got him do you think they got him? They, they think they put him in Guantanamo? Oh. Well, it looks like we're hiring for a new deep freight. If you've got insider information, be sure to email the bear at red at red-beard.com. Don't worry, we keep all your information confidential. We never would turn you over to uh, the corporate, you know, uppity-ups there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Cobra Security System. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is definitely an upgrade over the ones that they used to have. And a lot of people said that they really like them. The four channel wireless security system there with two cameras. I used to say, don't get this as there's cheaper ones out there. All those other companies that used to make a system like that, they've all caught the bug that, uh, who is it? That, that system that's owned by Google. Now the flip light, not flip light. But anyway, the, the, those, those cameras, those IP cameras, where you have to pay a monthly subscription to use the camera you paid for. Yeah, it makes no sense. Anyway, all those companies that used to make those don't make or make these don't make them anymore. And this is one of the few ones you can get with a nice little tablet. You can take it with you, put it next to your, your bedside. You can go to sleep. You hear a noise. You can wake up and look outside. They got, you know, infrared on them, everything. So they, I hate to say it, but I'm going to, I'm going back on my word. I'm going to say that I'm going to recommend it because there really isn't much else of an option. All right. They got the new Franklin six foot type uh, two fiberglass step ladder. I got to say, I saw this in store and boy, is it green? <laughs> I don't know. I don't get much. It's light. I did. I did pick it up and I got to say it was, it was stupidly light, uh, but uh, it's reinforced to support up to 225 pounds. So I didn't try it out because, you know, I'm, I'm a big bear. And <laughs> I don't want to have to pay for it. Anyway, uh, drywall panel hoist, blah, blah. There's a little step stool. <laughs> I made the mistake of saying that this step stool here, let me scroll up. 
the step stool here was kind of a joke. Who needs a stool like that? Well, the bear, the bear stands corrected. There's a lot of um, short people out there or people with tall vehicles, shall we say, who need a stool like that. So if you're one of those folks, uh, that's a great one for you. And at the bottom, we got all the new Hardy Best Gloves, bottom line, blah, 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 blah. You know what? I, I actually kind of like these these gloves. Um, that the camo touchscreen performance work glove, that one's pretty pretty nice. And I can tell you, the, the, the powder-free nitrile gloves, we I keep those around the house all the time. You know, my youngest son started his own business. Um, and uh, it's, uh, he does... <laughs> He does poop pickup. He goes to people's houses and picks up dog poop in the backyard. We get a lot of seniors that live on this side of Vegas, a lot of retirees, and they get all their little dogs that keep them company and stuff because the grandkids won't come over. Those shiftless kids too busy playing Fortnite to go visit grandma and grandpa. Anyway, they got their dogs, but, you know, they don't like going out and cleaning up after them. Little buggers making good money (laughs) doing it. Yeah, he's probably going to have to consider filing taxes at the end of 2019. He's going to make enough money doing it. This is ridiculous. I can't, I can't believe it. So anyway, uh, on down the side here, we got the six power, six outlet power strip. Hey, just a, a word of warning. Um, let, let me scroll down here. Sorry, that's at the top. The, the power strip. That's not a surge protector. That is literally a power strip. If you open it up, there's just a big bus bar in there. There is a breaker on it, but it's not something for... Uh, sensitive electronics okay let's just be clear on that uh the industrial grade electrical tape pack of 10 not the best uh electrical tape in the world certainly not the worst i've had worse electrical tape uh we got locks we got wd-40 safety glasses somebody was commenting in another uh in a channel or something about this these safety glasses here they're smoked safety glasses that they're so dark, they're almost hard to see through. And I got to agree. I think they're almost dangerously dark. If you're in a really super bright area where you need to have eye protection, sure. But I've never been someplace where I need eye protection, where I don't need to also see what's coming at me. Next page, we got the brawn lights. I got to do a video, man. I got to round up all my brawn lights and, and we got to talk about it because these things are amazing I, I for the price. It's hard to beat them for the price. It really is. They they are great little lights. We've got, um, we've got the basic small tactical light. We've got the uh, the pocket flashlight. I've got the non folding work light, and we've got the little ultraviolet scorpion light. By the way, I found a scorpion in the garage the other day, up on the ceiling above my head. Yeah, that didn't give me the willies. But you know what? I still would prefer scorpions over black widows. That's that's just me. Black widows are just creepy. Their little front legs are out there like, yeah, like they're going to get you and stuff. I, and they're aggressive, man. If you don't know, black widows, they're like, you talking to me? You know, come at me, bro. <laughs> and they will. <laughs> They'll come after you. You step on them. They're not, I didn't say they were bright, okay? I didn't say they were, you know, the sharpest knife in the drawer. They're poisonous. But they're, they're not bright. All right. Now the brawn work lights and stuff. I know, you know what? I know a lot of guys, you know, maybe you should not listen to the bear on this one. Maybe I'm just being a whiny bear. Uh, we've got this light. I use it for lighting on a work table uh, for my wife. And we don't like it because it, you can actually see the lines from the LED lights. But apparently in an engine bay, I guess because everything gets, you know, all the weird shapes and stuff, it, it's not really an issue. And a lot of guys really like it, especially for the price. There you go. See, the bear can be wrong. Oh, uh, let's see here. Submersible pumps. I know what? I don't know anything about these pumps. I've never used one. I don't know anybody who has used one. If you've used any of these submersible, what's the new name on them? The, the Drummond, Drummond, Drummond pumps. Uh, leave a comment down below and let us know because we'd like to hear about, you know, who knows, maybe we'll need one. I can think of lots of places this summer, like, say, California, that's going to be pretty much under 10 feet of water when that snow when that snowpack melts. I mean, California's already dealing with rain right now. It, it, it's just, I mean, this first they go through a drought, then they go through a fire, <laughs> then they're getting flooded, and there's a 20-foot snowpack or more. They're having a super bloom in Southern California. I mean, everyone's been dying of allergies. I can't even imagine it. I'm planning to do a test on the new premium batteries and the middle level batteries. Uh, I definitely say avoid the free batteries. Use your free coupon on something better. 
Uh, the Vanguard extension cords. You know what? I've got some of these extension cords. I find they work just fine. And, you know, and you can get them at a good sale price, too. I need to get that retractable hose re or cord reel, though. That's for sure. I definitely need it for my air hoses. All the air hoses I have right now. Good grief. Next floor, Lawn and Garden. We got the Portland, the Lynx. Man, I got to tell you, it, it's tempting to try out that Lynx line. The cordless chainsaw there, 40 volts. I mean, in that blower. But I got to be honest, you know... The only place we'd really use that is our place in Montana, and it's small enough that corded is going to be just fine. So we'll probably be doing the corded versions this summer. Probably getting one of those pole saws. I got a lot of tree, trees to trim back. Uh, I'm also people have asked me to do a test on the pressure washer, uh, except it's been freezing here. Hey, I love it. Last week, I think we was it last week we had snow. Was it a week ago? Yeah, the kids were out of school last Friday because we had winter weather here, snow and everything. And this week, it was I think it was 70 today. Oh, Vegas. Uh, the Krauss & Becker electric paint spray and airless spray system. Uh, they got new, uh, I think it's Apache. So I wouldn't invest in these. We got new ones coming out soon. Uh, the heavy-duty folding aluminum sportsman's chair. I'm going to get one of those. I know I keep saying that. I'm going to do it. Next week, I'm going to pick one up. We got the machete. Come on. You know you want it. You know you want it. Just buy it. Be done with it. Propane torch. Oh, man. <laughs> I think it's my idea. that. Tarps, tarps, and more good tarps. Let's see here. Oh, somebody commented. Apparently, the, the aluminum greenhouse with vents is not windproof to 60-mile-an-hour winds. Just, just FYI. Next page. And we got the Hall Master. We got the Utility Heavy Duty Bigfoot 2 one Convertible and Appliance. I got to say, I love that convertible one. Man, and, and I'm glad to see it in catalogs. For the longest time, it wasn't showing up in any of the catalogs. They've got it listed at $69.99. And, and get this. So I do a, go to do a search for for that item number. Watch this. We'll, we'll do it right now. I want more information on that. Oh, I want to view the product. Not found. Why... Is this not showing up in any of the product stuff? I, I, I don't get it. I, it. It's a great cart. I've got it. I've moved all sorts of stuff with this thing. I, I've moved a gun safe with, with one. A big one. Why they don't show up on the online catalog, I have no idea. None. Anyway, trust me though. You, uh, if you are, for around the shop, get one of the dedicated ones. If you're a homeowner, you'll like the versatility and be able to put it into the cart mode. Uh, we, we use it for all sorts of stuff. Um, you get a couple of those like blue tubs, the storage tubs. You can put them side by side on there. It, it's really useful. Da -da, the portable garage. Yeah, I got to get one of those. Although I want to get the one at Costco. It's got a little side door and windows in it. So you can open it up and get some wind moving through on a nice day. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go down. We got the straps, tie downs. Oh, oh. I don't have a picture of it. I, I talked about it before. Let me let me see if I can look it up real quick. So Harbor Freight is coming out with a cargo rack a la the Yakima. Yes, I know it's not Japanese. I said it was Japanese sounding. It just, you know, geez, calm down. And uh, anyway, they're coming out with their own version of a uh, sporty kind of cargo rack. Uh, I don't have any idea when it's going to come out. I'm guessing it's not going to be in the next month or two. Uh, but anyway, it's on its way. So, uh, keep a lookout for that. Uh, to the, the tail master, the 800 pound roof rack. See if there's anything else in here that's exciting. You know, I'm sorry guys. I know there's a bunch of stuff in here that I'm skipping, but the reality is to keep this video to the, the, the short kind of <laughs> time frame that other people will actually watch. Uh, I got to skip a bunch of it. So if there's stuff you want me to cover month to month that you're really excited about, let me know. And I'll make sure, you know, next month and, and the following months to add it to the, you know, stop and talk about this list. You know, and you can always comment down below. I try to answer uh, all the questions we can. But you know what? This would be a good time to talk about that also. So if you haven't checked out the website, I do have a, a web page for Denna Tools. There's, there's not a lot there. It's kind of a landing page for people looking for me to help them get over to YouTube. Uh, we're going to start adding in some blog stuff. This is some filler stuff. So I'm going to start adding some blog stuff. There's a bunch of the videos you can watch. Uh, show your support. But we're also adding in, of course, there's a right here, forum. And we're going to start having a forum page because 
for you regulars who want to talk tools and stuff, the, the YouTube comment section is just not a great way for following up with people. Uh, I try to read through all the comments at least once, but I know I miss a lot of responses. And I'm really sorry. I try to answer everybody, uh, but especially as the, the channel is getting bigger and bigger, you know. It was easy when we were 10,000 subscribers. We're now closing in on 25,000 subscribers. And, it, you know, a lot of these, especially when the, the videos are popular and get picked up by a bunch of people and stuff, and we get new people responding and throwing in stuff, it, it's just hard to respond to everybody. So um, I'm going to be starting the, the forum page over there where we can have some more long-term discussions and people can ask questions and stuff. So uh, be sure to check it out. Uh, I'm... I just set it up. I'm not sure how operational it is. Maybe you can test it out for me. Let me know if if you think it's working and what you'd like to see done better with it. All right, moving on. Oh, it's the Hercules page. And look at that. We got our buddy, the 10-inch, 15-amp job site table saw there for $379. As we know, that is the list price. There is a coupon out right now for, what is it, for $300, $299.99. Uh, so be sure to check out the uh, the page, the coupon page for it. I, I got to apologize. I think I forgot to mention that they sent that to me ahead of time and that it's not in stores as of yet. It should be out in the next week to two, maybe three weeks. Uh, but it, it will be out there. I I just finished a project cutting it with that. Man, it, that, that saw cuts so smooth. It's so nice. Yeah, I know. If you watch the review, I didn't say it was better than the DeWalt. But also notice, I didn't say it was worse. It's kind of a, a flavor kind of thing. You know, I'm sure that uh, Harbor Freight and the Muckety Mucks didn't like it when I used the term prosumer. And, and let me just explain that. It's not a prosumer grade saw, but for a prosumer who's willing to step up, it's definitely a better saw for them. Because here's the deal what you, you don't understand about job site saws. In a, a lot of these job sites, they set it up and they do one cut, you know, a hundred times. When you're ripping, you know, two by fours for something like, you know, for putting in windows or something, you're going to be putting in 40, 50 windows, you know, in a day or something on these bigger job sites. And you're going to set that up, lock it in place, and you're going to do the same cut over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, which makes the DeWalt, you know, more reasonable because making big changes on the DeWalt is a pain in the butt. You know, every time, every time you want to move that fence, you have to unlock the entire fence, not just the fence, the slide. You have to unlock the, the, the fence doesn't move really. It's the slide that moves, which means you need to reach under the table, unlock it to move it. You don't have to do stuff like that on the Hercules. There's so much about the Hercules that makes making big changes way easier. That said, for making small changes like dialing in, you want to, you know, you're going to make those, you know, 100 cuts and you want to make sure it's dead on every single time. Well, it, it, that's easy to do with the DeWalt because it, it's got that little gear, you know, rack and pinion uh, fence system. It's easy to slide it in place, dial it in down to the last micron there, lock it in place and leave it. That's, you know, it, it's, they're not really an apples to apples comparison. These job, these, these saws really do different jobs. And that's why I said, because we have a lot of, you know, prosumer DIYers here. That's why I said it that way. It's not because I think the quality of the saw isn't good. I just think that for you guys who are looking at DIY, uh, I know a lot of you look at the the DeWalt, and I'm gonna have to steer you away from it. Yeah, that fence is great, but it, it's you know, if you're going from a large rip cut to a cross cut and then down to a small, yeah, the, the DeWalt can be a pain in the butt. I've got both of them in my shop, and there's a reason why the DeWalt's sitting on a table on the side, not getting used, and the Herc is the one I use every single day. So we got our standard sale prices there on the drill driver, the impact, the hammer drill. I want to get my paws on that hammer drill. I know a lot of you have been asking about it. I don't have one in the shop. I've got everything on that top line but the hammer drill. We'll see if we can get our, our paws on one. So 114 sale price on that is no coupons found. 114, that's... <laughs> The price is the price, huh? Uh, the Hercules bits. I got to say, these these all these impact bits, and I've got this 45-piece set right here. I thought at first that I would not use them all that much. I mean, I've always looked at bits as disposable. You buy them on sale. You, I have hundreds of them and stuff. Man, these things are tough as nails. I love them. I, I may have to change my, my bit-buying methodology. 
Da, 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 da. Let's see here. Oh, we got the saws. We get the miter saws. Man, Harbor Freight is about to become the Harbor Miter Saw Freight. Uh, I got to tell you, I think they're, uh, we got five miter saws right here. And I know they're coming out with more, a lot more. And let me tell you, that's a lot of a good thing. So I, I know they're not going to like this. The Chicago Electric has been one of their, the, the 12 inch has been one of their best selling tools. That, that thing, in fact, I, by when I first started my YouTube channel, it was basically because I was motivated because I hear so, see so many people going, well, I'd never buy that miter saw. That thing is a piece of junk. When actually it's a hell of a deal for that price. Well, at least it used to be. Because you see, the problem was there was really nothing between it and, you know, a $500 uh, DeWalt. But now there are things in the middle. We, you know, Hercules came out at 349 and there's a sale price that goes out on that one, you know, every so often that takes it down to $300. Plus it comes with that one year money back warranty. That is just, oh my gosh, I love, I, <laughs> I love that saw. But the Admiral, the 12 inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw, it's definitely not up to the Herc standards. It, it's just not, it's not, it, it's, you know, essentially when it's on sale, it's around 170, I think 180, 170, 180, around there. It's about half the price of the Herc. But the if you look at the Chicago Electric, when it's on sale, it's around 130. If the, the Admiral's on sale for around 170, that's a $40 price. When you add in the fact that the Hercules does not come with a blade, the Admiral does, and the Herc comes with a really nice blade. By the time you add a blade to the to the uh, the Chicago Electric, you might as well have gotten the Admiral. You're going to get a decent blade with that. Plus, it's got a better laser. And the laser on the Chicago Electric is at the bottom, below the blade, right where all the sawdust kicks up. And the sawdust packs right in front of it. And it, I found the, the laser on that thing to be next to worthless. The laser on the Admiral is at the top, along with an LED work light. And you've got the side tables that slide out. I actually find myself quite often with the Herc. You know, I've got it in that uh, the Hercules stand. And I find myself quite often wishing I had something in between the stand and the wings there. Oh, and there we got the stands down below. We got the Chicago Electric, or yeah, the Chicago Electric stand and the Hercules stand. Man, I love that Hercules stand. Oh, and look, there's the uh, the Finger Slicer 2000. <laughs> Remember, that's just not not a knock on this saw. Any of these saws, Ryobi makes one. Lots of people make these cheap budget plastic box saw in a plastic box it's basically that's what it is it's a circular saw uh you know the guts of a circular saw mounted underneath a cheap aluminum table in a plastic box that's what you're getting uh da, da, da. the jigsaw you know i i haven't talked about it i haven't done a video on it i have this orbital jigsaw this thing's a little tiny beast it is great uh, just a word of warning for those of you who haven't used one the orbital function on a jigsaw and at first i was kind of skeptical about it the way it works is it actually allows the blade to clear dust and stuff faster, allowing you to do faster cuts with it. However, what that does is those cuts are rougher. Usually when you're looking at orbital on a, on a tool, it's going to get you, you know, a smoother finish or finer control or something. On this, it's going to get you speed, but you're going to give up quality. All right, let's go down the page. We got the... Chicago Electric uh, wet tile saws. Those are nice. Those are nice. Diamondback, baby. Oh, my gosh. That thing, that 10-inch. That's a, If you haven't seen my video on that, check it out. It's a beast. Just a beast, that thing. You know, and to test it, I left it out for a couple days in the cold weather. I even left it, get, got four inches of snow on it. Came out the next morning, fired it up, cut right through some marble with it. I've cut through glass. I've cut through metal. Uh, I've cut through river stone. The, it, I don't think there's anything it won't cut through. Give it enough time. Yeah. we got the oscillating tools. I'm a big fan of that. I, I never see much use for the variable speed one. Maybe you do, but I, it's not been a big deal for me. I say save the money. The gooseneck grinder with lamp. Man, that's just a great average use kind of grinder with a nice little work light. You know, for a home shop or a small shop that just needs a small grinder. I, I'm a big fan of that thing. All right, we talked Herc. Now let's talk Bauer. We got the 20 volt uh, cordless half inch compact, uh, the hammer drill, the impact driver. Wow, I gotta say, I it took me a while to get my paws on these. I want I want to see more of the Herc or the Bauer line. Sorry, 
The I've so far I've got the the cordless uh, the half inch drill driver and the quarter inch uh, impact driver as well as the uh, the right angle uh, drill driver over here. Wow, <laughs> these things are great. <laughs> they're amazing. I I I cannot believe the quality that they're getting into these things. I know I was hesitant. I didn't think that they they live up to Ryobi quality. I, I would say they are lockstep with Ryobi. And that may sound, some of you be like, well, Ryobi's, man, if you don't know about Ryobi in the past five years, they have stepped up their game. They're challenging. You know, it used to be, you know, Ryobi was base level along with Black & Decker. Then you had like Porter Cable and, and Rigid in the middle level. And then you had like DeWalt Milwaukee at the top end. Porter Cable has really taken a nosedive. Sorry, I know we got some Porter Cable fans on there, but they just have not really kept up with the rest of the game. And Ryobi, I'm right, man, if Ryobi keeps going at this rate, they're going to surpass Rigid. At least Rigid's come out with the Octane stuff, and they're really jumping the game. And they're, uh, you know, pushing on, you know, banging on the doors of, of Milwaukee. And in Milwaukee, I guess, has really stepped up and moved past, uh, you know, DeWalt uh, on most levels. There's still some tools that DeWalt makes that are better than... Uh, than uh, Milwaukee, but for the most part, you know, Milwaukee is the way to go, especially if you're doing cordless tools. Now, I know a lot of you are like, but you just bashed. Oh my gosh, those, those like DeWalt sucks and Milwaukee sucks. That that was troll bait to make fun of the the the, uh, the fanboys who, who don't even watch the videos and just comment anyway. Yeah, you know, they, they, they talk to their buddies in some you know, special forum just for them, and then they come over here and make comments when they pops up on their feed. Yeah, that that was all tongue in cheek. I mean, yeah, a lot of the issues are, you know, all the issues I raised were honest and true issues. I may have exaggerated like, you know, the 18 volt battery versus the, you know, the 40 volt and stuff. But the, for the most part that it's, it was really just really to, you know, grab some people and shake them and wake them up and be like, you don't buy your tools based on the brand. You buy them on the right tool for the right job. All right. Speaking of the right tool for the right job, man, Bauer's killing it. These rotary demo hammers and breaking hammers, oh, if, if you've got light to medium work, this, this is just, there's no way I wouldn't go with these. And I got to tell you, that deep cut portable bandsaw, that's a must buy. Uh, coupon price on that should be $100. Da, 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 da. Survey says $100. Look at that. The bear knows. The bear knows. That, that is, if you don't have one of those, you need it. I mean, and if you're just looking for like some small detail cups, cuts and stuff, there's ways to set up as a small vertical bandsaw also. Uh, I, I did a video a while back where I show how to make a, a little stand for it out of, out of plywood uh, that works great. And as I said, I've used it with my my jaw horse or whatever. To, oh my gosh. I, I love it. You know what? It actually makes me wonder, because I don't do a lot of resawing, why even need a 14 inch bandsaw? Okay, I need a 14 inch bandsaw, but, but still, the, the question's there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, the, the heavy duty right angle, the, the Bauer version of the whole hog, I, that thing is a beast. That is, that is a scary beast. You better hold on to your, for your life with that thing. And, th and that's not in a bad way. You need a lot of torque with those things, and it has it. Here's something I want to talk about. I get a lot of people asking me about thickness planers. Uh, that's what we got over here. And let's do the more info on that. 320 sale price says 250. I'm sorry. I've kind of held off because when they first came out, there weren't a lot of decent sale prices on it and such. And I had also said that these planers were kind of a commodity. Uh, they all they're all basically the same. It looks like they're interchangeable. They all have like the same kind of barrel and the you know the brush little door over here and the same kind of Basically, there's two types. There's, there's One type has one pole going up and going across, and then the nicer ones have the double pole. It gives you a, a stiffer cage here for it to live in, and the stiffness in a planer is key because that's where you get the flatness from. And, man, at $250, it's hard not to recommend that. I, I've looked around, and I, I've... The, especially like used like with table saws i'm constantly telling people if you want like a hybrid or a true cabinet saw you need to be going on craigslist and be haunting it because you'll find a deal in you know two to three months or something thickness planers good luck people i see people selling i saw somebody today 
trying to sell the old version of the Harbor Freight uh, thickness planer for more than this. It, it's just ridiculous. Half inch heavy duty extreme torque impact wrench. I see pro shops using this tool daily. I, I don't know what to tell you more than that. I don't do that kind of heavy level of mechanic stuff. I do some light duty stuff, but I know I'm not in a mechanic shop. I, you know, I keep my eye out. I know people. I go around. I talk to people. So I stay informed. That, that thing's a beast. There's just no two ways about it. Da, 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 da. Is this a new product? Was the Bauer belt sander out before? 64530. Item not found. That's a new item. I gotta say, I was wrong on that. We talked about that in the, my last video, and I thought it was gonna be longer to launch, and here we go in the March flyer. Look at that. All right, going down, we get the Warrior cordless stuff, and I wish they'd come out with more that would support this Warrior lineup. For, you know, somebody like, you know, in your first apartment, uh, something, you know, I bought one as a, as a tool set for the Cubs, you know, so they can lend a paw. Uh, these things are great, you know for what they are okay bear in mind that's a i think it's 25 dollars. let's look at the info on this sale price says 25 dollars. that's a 25 dollar lithium ion drill all right so be let's be real about what its capabilities are that's don't be that guy who says you need to compare it to the milwaukee brushless 350 dollars drill oh my gosh some people need to get smacked with a fish. That, that just, you know, in life, you just learn as you get older that, f that fish are good for more than eating. And if you've never smacked somebody with a fish, <laughs> you have not lived. All right. Grinders. Wow. Look at all the grinders we got here. Oh my gosh. Where, where is it? I don't see it. I got to, I, I got to play with the new 12 volt earthquake. Oh, I love that little thing. I think it's a tight, it's a beast. It's a tiny beast. It's, it's a it's a beastlet, if you will. All right, rotary tool. Somebody asked about this the other day. This rotary tool is a no. Do not buy this. This is a piece of junk. You will throw it in the trash. This, this ain't that bad, for especially for the price. For the price, it's you know it's a miracle worker for the price. Um, uh, let's see here. Orbital seniors. I have this one. Uh, I use it on a lot of little projects. It. It's a mouse sander. It gets in little corners. It sands. What more do you want? It's great for that. The Baxter air sander. I do not have this. I do not see me getting it anytime soon. Not not at a hundred dollars. Now that's not saying it's a bad price. I just don't need a straight line air sander so much that I mean it might be fun to play with, but I don't need one that much. Dust collector. If you got a serious shop, you need to get one of these, man. That's just no brainer about it. Apparently, I'm out of loop when it comes to. Shop vacs, because I've been looking at these wet dry vacs, and survey says forty dollars, and I was like, I don't know, they should be cheaper than that. I mean, it's just a tub with a vacuum, right? I was at Lowe's today. Oh my gosh, the seventy, eighty dollars for shop vacs like this just it just blew me away. This is what kind? What are they smoking? There must be some good stuff up in there. I'm going to be heading over to Harbor Freight this weekend and picking up one of those. I was hoping to wait until they come out with the new line. I, I hear that they're going to, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. And these, come on, four and a half stars, you, you know. And for those of you who don't know, Harbor Freight does not edit their reviews, which is insane because you'll got, you know, everyone knows that there's Harbor Freight haters out there who just love to go and trash stuff. And they let them trash it. And so if you see something with four and a half stars, you know, it's probably a pretty good deal. All right, bench bench saw. This thing, no. If you need a small saw like that, get the portable saw and set it up in a vertical sit, you know, situation. There's ways to do it. It's not that expensive. And then you have a portable saw as well as a vertical saw. This thing is just a pain. And trying to keep that thing tuned in, it's just it's just more work than it's worth. All right, next floor. Snailed it. All right. For those of you who don't know, uh, the bear here is working on an air compressor video. I've got a slew of air compressors in my, my uh, shop right now. I have one, two, three, five, six, if you count that, that tankless one, air compressors in my shop right now. Not to mention the bear who's full of hot air, as the missus would say. Anyway, 
So, uh, I know I've been a huge fan of these Chicago pneumatic, not, not Chicago electric. Don't, don't get them confused. Like I do all the time. So anyway, I've been a huge fan of these, the two in one stapler, nail stapler, but you know, it does have an issue where, because it does both, it can leave a line. It will leave a line impact line. And I got my hands on one of the new, this new, uh, Pierce 18 gauge Brad nailer. Let's see if there's a better price on that right now. 60 bucks, $40. Oh yeah. So I, I've been using it to build this little project. I've been working on a, get this, a, it's a stand for the saw for the shop. It's a mobile base with no wheels. Think on that. A wheelless mobile base. And you know, I want to see if you guys can figure out how the bear's going to do this. But I, it's, it's done. All right, I, I got to put some coats of paint on and get a nice little finish and stuff. But it's built and it works and it's amazing and I love it. And I'm going to start building bases like this for all of my, my uh, floor standing tools. This is... I should have, I've thought about this, you know, some time ago, about six months ago, the idea came to me and I should have done it sooner. Oh, so nice. Anyway, back to the nailers. So I've been using that 18 and 18 gauge Brad nailer from Pierce. <laughs> Pierce. I just, I still got, I got to chuckle every time, man. As I say, I've also heard back on the banks. I've talked to a lot of guys who have the banks and they say they're great. I've looked at them in store. The quality seems to be, you know, top notch. Uh, but yeah, the, so we got the Chicago electric. I honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these. I have not seen one of these nailers that hasn't been excellent. There just, there just isn't one. I, I, I you know, and you get all these people, you know, and these are another one of the, the top returned items you'll see, especially like the floor nailers and stuff. And I think it's people who buy them, use them for a job. And then, you know, they're like, we're going to install flooring in the Second bedroom, and they go and they do it, and then they bring it back because they didn't want to rent it because they're schmucks. Oh, and by the way, for the Milwaukee fanboy, uh, it's S C H M U C K. That's how you spell schmuck. Work on your Yiddish. I I just realized the other day I actually know quite a bit of Yiddish. Uh, I have a lot of German heritage. Was actually born in West Germany, and I don't know how I picked it up, but uh, I'm not Jewish. Per se, there's 23 and me says that there is some there somewhere, but the, um, but apparently the, I, I know a lot of the Yiddish slang. Uh, I think all the Yiddish is slang actually. The Diablo Master Performance Air Hoses. I, you know what? I just got one and I'll be honest. I've used a lot of the cheaper, like the, the green PVC rubber hose and, uh, the, the basic one, not the Diablo one. And I've been okay with them. And for this project, uh, for the air compressor one, I got my paws on the high quality, uh, lightweight rubber air hose. Ooh, that is nice. <laughs> it, it's such a difference in quality. It, it's amazing. That is to say though, it would have been nice if it had a retractable reel. Just, just saying, let's talk about the yellow stripe here for a second. That's on the left there. We got a stainless steel mug, six ninety nine. Let's see if there's a better price on that. Vanna, what do we got? Vanna says, no coupon found. <gasps> can you use a 25% off on that? Can you? Yeti, I don't know if that's on the coupon. I think you can. But if not, man, I, I love these mugs. Man, I had the Yeti mug. This, this mug is as good, if not better. And in case, in case you lost your Yeti mug but still have the lid, uh, the lid from the Yeti mug will work on the, the Harbor Freight. They're interchangeable. I know this because I, somehow I've managed to lose my Harbor Freight lid and I've got the Yeti lid on it. Work, works the same. Uh, magnetic parts holder. Hey, guys, don't, don't pay for those. There's always a free coupon out there somewhere for those things. Da -da -da -da. Let's see here. Merlin, man, the, Merlin I, has been silently, they've been silently coming up with this new line of Merlin air parts and tools and stuff. The quality on these things is pretty nice. You know, for those of you who didn't know, the, the old Chicago pneumatic is, was a bit hit or miss on the quality on a lot of those tools. These Merlin ones are really nice. Um, the one thing I will say, I've been looking for a manifold and this three way, they, they like to do this kind of split. I would prefer the bus bar kind of split. 
makes it easier for mounting, like if I want to mount it on a wall or something to, as a breakout panel. Uh, but if, you know, so if you could make that happen, that, that would be great. Uh, let's see what else we got. The extended foot, I just use this uh, extended dual foot air chuck inflator. Uh, that thing works great. For, I mean, it should, right? It's an air chuck inflator. Compressors, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to get into it because I got a whole video coming out with these. Needless to say that uh, I will have all your questions answered and that the McGraw, uh, I, I I didn't, I honest, I was on it. How do I say this? I didn't think there was space between the Chicago electric, or yeah, the Chicago pneumatic, central pneumatic. Oh my gosh, you see, it's confusing. I didn't think there was space between that and the upper end. And what were these blue ones in between? There's there's space, guys. There really is. In fact, in some cases, it's almost too compelling. And I'm going to say something I never thought I would say, but the bear might consider going oilless. I know, I know, but we'll talk. We'll talk. Don't don't lose your minds yet. You know, you know the bear. I've always said get an oil compressor. I've said it for years. You can go back and watch all my older videos. But there comes in a time and place in every young bear's life when technology moves to a certain point where you have to consider it. So videos coming up, we're going to be considering it, and we're going to be talking about these fortress compressors too. <laughs> these things are amazing, just amazing. 13th floor, cutoff wheels, earthquakes, and other various unnatural disasters. Uh, I have not had a chance to ch uh, try these new, where we got it here, the new Chief air, Airless or Airless Air Tools. I, I took a look at one in the store. The quality looks great. I, if you guys have used one, uh, let me know. I would like to hear uh, your take on it. Oh, and here's that earthquake uh, lithium, 12 volt lithium cordless polisher sander kit. That thing is great, man. Talk about feeling good in the hand. And I gotta say, I don't know how they've done it. And and you're gonna call the bear a fan bear here over this. I have not seen an in the handle 12 volt system that I like. I haven't. Uh, they've all seemed to be way too fat for my 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 taste. I didn't notice. When I picked, I didn't think about it until just now. And this was two days ago that I held this thing. I've been thinking about it ever since. I, the minute I picked it up, I was like, wow, that feels great. This is perfectly, be I love this tool. I didn't even think about the fact that it's 12 volt in the handle. It didn't even occur to me. It's so well made. It's way better balanced than you see in the Milwaukee and the rigid and the other in the handle kind of stuff. I, I couldn't believe it. And then next to it, we got the 12 volt lithium extreme torque ratchet set. The impact, this is the earthquake one, right angle. I will say this. I, I miffed that Harbor Freight didn't standardize on a battery system for everything. Like all the 12 volt tools, the woodworking and the, uh, the machine or the machine, the mechanics tool, they could have all used the same battery system. There was no reason not to. I, it's, I understand the factories they get them. There's, there probably was a, a, a reason that I don't know of not to do it. But, man, I feel they just missed an opportunity. That said, they, these things are awesome. I I don't want to get another battery platform, but I may be getting it just for that tool. All right, we got the central pneumatics, the earthquake uh, impacts and stuff. I don't have enough experience with those to talk on them, but I can tell you this. Just watch any review on YouTube. There, you'll be hard pressed to find anybody who's not a complete tool snob saying anything negative about the Earthquake line of tools. They're, they're just they're just too good. Um, air impact wrenches. You know, I just picked up like the cheap, super cheap Chicago uh, pneumatic one just to test out because I I never tested. I wanted to see how it ha held up. So that video is coming up sometime uh, shortly. And let's see what's going down here. The washer pump, the rock tumbler, that's interesting. Ultrasonic cleaner, that thing is, that thing's great, man. For clean small parts, clean gun parts, stuff like that. If you've been cleaning your guns by hand, you got to get one of these, man. There's just, oh, it's so much easier. Bauer heat guns. Okay, I don't know if you've seen this, but Rigid has a new heat gun that uses, uh, I think it's propane. You, it's got a onboard canister that you charge up and instant heat just fabulous for cordless you know, it uses as a battery because you had to have a blower to go with the heat it's amazing uh 
I gotta say these the sixteen hundred watt, uh, the new Bauer that replaced the other one, it got the flat back on it so you can set it down in an upright position and use it hands free. Those things are great. You 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 will find uses for that you never even thought of. All right, remember when I said before that there was gonna be an item here that we needed to talk about? Well, it's here. Oh, and is it ever here? Carts, carts, and more good carts. We got the U.S. General in six fantastic colors. And even if you look over here, we got the 72-inch now in three colors. We got the 56-inch with top chests in three colors. And, and my understanding is we're going to get all six colors. That is blue, black, red, green, orange, and lello. And matching accessories. As you can see, the mechanics tool cart folding side table thing there. Right there in all your six colors. Now, I recently sold, I had the five drawer version of this cart. And I don't know, yeah, these. I had, I had this one right here, the blue one. And it's great. It's It really is. But I found that I didn't, because I don't need to lock up my tools at the end of the night. So this big compartment at the top where I can just throw everything and shut it and lock it has no appeal to me. Uh, so I ended up selling that and turning around and buying this cart right here. And I was, and I'm super happy with it. I, I love it. It's, it fits perfectly in the spot where it goes. I had not, had no intentions of getting the top box for it because I wanted to use it like a cart. Well, I've got something else though that I also use like a cart. And so I don't really need that. But what I really do need is the storage. Sale price says... $169.99, 170 bucks. That that is a great deal on that. On 1012, it was down to 160. So it has been a little bit cheaper. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna wait for ten dollars. I need it for when we go up to uh, Montana because I need to be able to move a lot of my tools fairly easily and be able to grab those, put it all there and roll it up, you know, roll it straight into the, the trailer to take up there. It's gonna be That'd be a big win for me. So I am probably going to pull the trigger on that here shortly. So we'll we'll have to do a video on that one. This, I just lo started looking at these new Hercules bags. I love the bags that came with the tools. They're some of the best bags the, uh, that I, I've seen. In fact, I'm actually planning to do a review of tool bags because I, I figured I got so many. We might as well talk about them. Uh, give me a chance to rag on the crappy DeWalt bags. My gosh, those things are cheap. But they're not as cheap as the bag that came with the Craftsman I got, which was none. And we got the Voyager uh, bags down here. I use these things for miscellaneous bags for all the time. I took camera gear, all sorts of stuff in it. Three in one piece Master Mechanics tool kits. You know how the bear feels on kits. Not a big fan, but if you're going to get one, it's not a bad option to get. And there's usually a better price out than that. Let's see what the price is. Like 170 or something. 160 that's a pretty good price for a 300 piece toolkit all right we're getting a little long in the tooth here we gotta move along we are now on to our penultimate page all right we got 21 piece heavy duty jumbo ratchet sets combo sets hey harbor freight can can we stop skipping sizes can we either either stop skipping sizes with both the wrenches and the sockets or give us the option of, of buying them separately. By the way, I'm thinking about coming out with my own line of 10 millimeter sockets. What do you think? That's all we're going to sell. It's going to be the 10 millimeter store. Oh my gosh. Icon Professional Drive Torque Wrench. $80, $90. By the way, kicked Snap-on's butt. Kicked their tiny little butt up and down the tool truck. da da all right, somebody in some forum had asked, is there any tool you ever bought just because it was shiny and you wanted it and you had no use for it? Here's the bear's confession. I bought this. I, I admit it. I, you know, I need to change the tires out on the, the wife's truck. We've got a second set of tires for it, uh, wheels and everything, and we need to swap them out. And she's all concerned about her rims and stuff. And so I got the, you know, the, so I, I don't have any need for it. I don't, there's, there's really absolutely no need for this. I don't change tires that much, but it was, it was on sale. It was like, what was the sale price? What's the sale price on it now? It's, that's probably the sale price. Yeah. 
Anyway, it was under 20 bucks. There was nothing else at the store. They were out of what I wanted at the time. And I bought it. I did. It was maybe some retail therapy for the bear. I don't know. But that that's my confession. I have no need for it. It's sitting in my garage right now. I've used it once. And that was just to play around with it. I, need, I still need to change the wife's tires. 50-inch clamp and cut edge guide. I know some people have had some issues with it. I've had no issues with mine. Maybe take a look at the store, test it out on a rack or something, make sure it locks up square or something. But I use this thing all the time. Remember, if you saw my video on table saws, yes, you can cut large sheet material on a table saw. It's not the safest thing to do. Da -da, Bremen and Quinn. Hey, I heard somebody talking that the Quinn stuff was rusting. I, maybe they live at the bottom of a salt lake bed or something. I don't know. I haven't seen or heard anyone else talking about this. I don't know if it was some troll bait or something. But comment down below. If they have a problem, we should let them know. But I haven't heard of anything. But anyway, as I said, I don't have enough of this really to, to, to speak. Most of the stuff I have is the Doyle stuff. Oh, it's just nice. Pittsburgh ratchets. I love these ratchets, man. The little composite, composite offset ratchet. Uh, the, uh, the, the extended one, they have an extending ratchet and that thing is, is great. And it works as a regular ratchet. Then when you need to put a little bit of more, you know, gumption into it, you can extend it out, get a better reach. Da, 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 more of the hand tools. You, it's hard to go wrong with Harbor Freight hand tools. It, it's next to impossible with those lifetime warranties. Oh my gosh. What, did, what more do you want? Okay. When I say it's hard to go wrong, these clamps are great. These are C clamps. They it's what they do. These are I need to just barely hold it and not put a lot of pressure on it clamps. They're quick, they're easy, they have no real clamping strength. You will strip the gears if you seriously try to clamp with these. If you need to really clamp something, you get these. When you buy them on sale, you buy every one you can and uh I'll tell you, I will contact you personally when you have enough clamps. All right, get more coupons. Text TOOLS to 222377. I've heard rumors that certain stores have been saying that they're not going to accept coupons on the phone anymore. Specifically, I heard someone say they're not going to accept coupons from coupon uh, from the app, from the coupon, was a Harbor Freight coupon database. I can tell you that I have not heard anything from corporate to back that up, to legitimize that. It literally says on the website that they accept coupons on your smartphone. It, it says it plain and simple. So unless they change their policy and publish a new one, they have to accept it. It says it. It's advertising. It's out there. They have to back it up. So other than that, everything else here, this is the back page. We've covered all this stuff here before. That is your March uh, tool coupon catalog for the month. Be sure to check back at the end of, of March. Uh, hopefully, I'll actually have the paper catalog by then. Hint, Harbor Freight mailers. But if not, you know we'll do it online again. Either way, thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, again, comment down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure, if you can, to check in tomorrow morning for the uh, Las Vegas Tool Council meeting with me and Explorer Steve. Also, the missus and I will be doing our Saturday night talk. We talk about tools. We talk about cubs. It's more of a laid back kind of open uh, topic discussion. Uh, and that's going to be Saturday. I think we're doing it at 6 p.m. Uh, check back on the community page. I'll, I'll have a post there just to make sure. Anyway, take care, everyone. Until we see you next time, say it with me. Shine on.